Hey gang, so very soon we are going to be coming out and working with you on, to get you up to speed on Google Docs. Now because we want to spend as much time as possible doing hands-on stuff, we want to make sure that there's a few things that you have done before we actually meet with you on that day. So here's what I want to do. In this video, I want to spend just a little bit of time explaining what Google Docs are. Also, we need to show you how to reset your password so that your Google account or your school Google account syncs up with your normal school account. Also, just want to make sure that you know how to sign in on Google, give you a quick pre-training survey just so that we know a little bit about you, and then tell you about what to bring. So here's what I want to do. This video that I'm going to show you was made just kind of showing what Google Docs are and also how they can be used in, in teaching and learning. The biggest thing with Docs is, is that it's accessible 24-7, 365. All my Docs are right there no matter what machine or what station I'm on. We're able to incorporate and integrate uh, the Google Apps and the Google Docs into pretty much everything we do in the school. Google Docs has really given my students control over their own education to a higher degree than they've ever had before. With Google Docs, I can write it on the Google document at home, open it up on my email here, then finish it up. Instead of like bothering about emailing like documents back and forth, I'm just like, okay, I can just save it and uh, I'm good to go from Hong Kong, from India, wherever I am. One student isn't just sitting in front of the computer and the rest are looking over their shoulder. Now, finally, all the students are able to participate in one particular assignment. One student began a poem and then there were two other students that actually ended up finishing the poem. It was beautiful. I looked at my Google Docs and I saw that one of the poems was being written by two kids at the very same time at 11 o'clock at night. It, to me, that means that learning is happening at all times of the day. Recently, we had students in Virginia and Alaska talking about hunting together. The Alaska students looked at some New York City stories and they didn't quite get it because they had no idea what a subway was. I thought it was really easy how you could talk between people because I know if we have an essay, it'd be kind of fun to get another opinion on it before you turn it in. It would be pretty similar to just sitting next to someone and working on it together, but you could be in your own houses. Exactly. We'll work on a major writing piece in class and we'll go through the writing process, brainstorm, draft, revise, edit, publish, and all that is done on one Google document. As a teacher, that gives me the opportunity to see which students are doing the lion's share of the work. You want to be able to see the growth in the student writing and do they really take the comments that are on the page from the teacher and then apply those back into the work. I always tell my students that my idea is perfect until somebody else reads it. And when I interact with somebody else with my idea, the idea becomes better. And I think Google Docs helps us do that. The benefit of using um, Google Docs, Google Presentations, um, Spreadsheet is it allows the students really to publish and to become publishers on a worldwide level. It's no longer uh, I'm doing this to get the points needed for the grade and the teacher's the only one that's going to see it. I'm now publishing for my peers, I'm publishing for parents. It raises the level of their work because they begin to understand how many people are reading what they've done and they want it to be the best they can do. We were gathering together some college recommendations. How long is it going to take to pass the piece of paper around the room? One of the teachers sitting at the table said, this is an obvious Google Docs. We can't do this any other way. We had a technology open house last week. Let's say there's 10 people who are helping to plan different phases of that open house. We'll open up a Google document, and we will enter in what we've done and what steps we've taken, questions we have for each other. And it doesn't require endless amounts of meetings. In fact, it requires zero meetings. Kids who were totally divested from learning, not really interested in, in my class at all, come in every day and they're really excited to get on the laptops. It's just like, it makes the, the lesson a lot more interactive and uh, it's definitely improved learning. If you learn to use Google Docs, they'll, they'll make your classroom more efficient, you save time, and you can do the art of teaching better than the fussing factors of, of teaching. I can't even fathom what, what we were doing at this time last year without 
the, the communication, without the collaboration, and without the ease of saving that Google Docs have offered us so far. So far, I say, because I have no idea what's coming next. All right, so I hope that video kind of explains a little bit about what Google Docs are so that it, that it makes sense. Now, we're gonna spend a lot of time kind of letting you do some hands-on stuff and really get to learn Google Docs by, by doing some activities with it. So before we meet, there's a few things that we need you to do, to do in order to make sure that this goes as smoothly as possible. Here's the first thing. We want your school Google account that's been set up to talk to your normal school account. In order to do that, you need to reset your password. Now this is something that you only need to do once. If you've already reset this, then you're, you're gonna be just fine. If you haven't, here's a video that'll show you how to do that. First thing is you're gonna need to use a school Windows desktop or laptop that's connected to the internet and the, and the school network. Then log in like you normally would using your school username and password. And then when your desktop screen has loaded, just press the, the control alt delete buttons all at the same time on your keyboard. Next, you're gonna see a menu that's gonna appear. One of the options is change password, select that. After selecting change password, you're gonna be asked to add some of your account information. So here's the important thing. This is a password reset. So if your password is eight characters or more, you can just reuse that again. Um, you're only going to need to change your password if you want to, and if it is less than eight characters. Now remember that password because you're gonna need it. Okay, so now that you have reset your school password so that your Google account syncs up with your school account, we wanna make sure that you guys can sign into Google Drive before we, we get to the training. So what I want you to do is watch this quick little tutorial that shows you how to sign in on your school Google Drive. So to sign into your Google account, open up the internet on your computer using the browser of your choice. I, now, I personally prefer Google Chrome or Mozilla Firefox, but anyone will do. Now that you've fired up the internet on your computer, sign in by going to the google.com website. Look for the sign in button, and as of right now, you can find that in the upper right hand corner of your screen. So for teachers who are in Google Apps districts where your account has already been created for you, you're gonna sign in by using your school email and password. This is gonna be the same password that you use to log into your school computer or get into your email. At this point, it's gonna take you back to google.com. Once again, Google has a really bad habit of changing its look often. So look for this icon right here. If you don't see it and, you're, and you know you're signed in, look around for something that says Google Drive or maybe shows this Google Drive icon. Now select the Google Drive icon and you'll be taken to your very own Google Drive. All right, here we go. So you have changed your password. You have signed in on your Google or your school Google account. Now what we need to do is just get a little bit of information from you. Um, along with this video, there is a survey that's been sent out that tells us a little bit about you and your experience um, using Google Docs in the past. If you could make sure that you will fill that out and submit that before the training, that'll help us know how to kind of tweak this so that, it's, uh, so that it's most helpful to you. And last of all, when we meet, we want this to be hands-on, like I've said a, a few times here. So make sure that you have a laptop. Now the reason we want a laptop is because it's a lot easier to work on uh, Google Docs when it's done with a computer like, like a laptop. I know that a lot of uh, people have iPads and that you can do Google Docs on an iPad, but the workflow is is quite a bit different. So um, bring the 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 iPad along if you want, but really make sure you also have a laptop so that we can use that primarily when we're doing this training. We are looking forward to working with you on this uh, just to, to give you enough information to make you dangerous and then 
kind of figure out ways that we can go on and, and work more in depth on this so that you can get up and running with Google Docs in your classroom. See you soon.